mine advisory group known as MAG has been operational for 20 years in Laos, during which it has delivered 114 contracts and managed 45 million US dollars, about 362 billion keep of funding for clearance the explosive remnants of war contaminated land. It is shown that some 40 years after the war ended, cluster munition and other explosive have been obstacles when building infrastructure and implementing other socio-economic development efforts. Very, very good to meet you. Thank you very much. Chairman of Mine Advisory Group Lord Michael Williams also met Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Foreign Affairs Tong Lun Si Sulit in Wing Chan on Monday, the 8th of September to consult on works for UXO clearance in Laos. In addition, Max said it was grateful for the continued support and guidance provided for its work by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and look forward to continued successful future cooperation. MAC is working to clear land in Kamuan and Xinhuang provinces. It also reported that the funding of these projects had come from a wide range of sources, including governmental donors, the European Union, UN agencies, as well as non-governmental organizations, foundations, and individuals. The bilateral government funding has come through the various aid departments of foreign governments such as the UK Department for International Development, USAID, Australian Agency for International Development, today integrated into the Australian government's Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Danish International Development Agency, among others. It also uses its own resources to raise funds from foundations and individuals to help support its work in Laos and increase awareness of the major humanitarian impact of UXO on the thousands of Lao communities. MAC is committed to continue working closely with the government of Laos and the humanitarian mine action sector partners, stakeholders and donors to clear and release land in order to assist Laos in reaching the strategic objectives of the Safe Path Forward to 2011-2020 and the 7th National Socio-Economic Development Plan, as well as making progress to the attainment of the Millennium Development Goal targets by 2015 and the goal of graduating from least developed country status by 2020. Some 40 years after the war ended, cluster munitions and other explosives have been obstacles when building infrastructure and implementing other socio-economic development efforts. Laos is the most heavily bombed country per capita in the world. Between 1964 to 1973, over 580,000 bombing missions were flown across the country and dropped an estimated 207 million cluster submunitions or bombies as they are known locally. This equates to a plane load of bombs every 8 minutes, 24 hours a day for 9 years. It is estimated that about 30% of these some 80 million submunitions malfunction and did not explode. It is these items that predominantly contaminate the country to this day. This means one ton of bombs for every person in the country. Mine Advisory Group, or MAC, has released a total sum of 43.74 million square meters of explosive remnants of war, or ERW, contaminated land and destroyed nearly 181,000 of these dangerous items over the past decade. MAC has been operational for 20 years in Laos, during which it has delivered 114 contracts and managed 45 million US dollars, about 362 billion keep of funding. This has resulted in huge improvements in the quality of life for over half a million people living in communities affected by the presence of unexploded ordnance or UXO. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, no, thank you for